Okay, so this is Eric Trump calling Letitia James, the New York Attorney General, calling her investigation third rate. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, I know you're watching. Just go ahead and subscribe. It's easy. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Okay, Eric Trump. At first I was afraid, then I was petrified. I mean, listen to him. He says, the Trump Organization has assembled the best legal and ethical minds to thwart the New York Attorney General's third-rate investigation. I mean, he's just, I mean, how, how does, it's amazing. I mean, Eric seems desperate. I mean, he's talking about um, how they're chasing them down. And, um, oh, he mentions, the four, the, the, or it all brings to mind that thing with Rudy Giuliani and the Four Seasons uh, end up in front of the Four Seasons Landscaping Company instead of inside the Four Seasons Hotel uh, with his hair dripping down his side. So all of this comes to mind for this uh, insanity that's going on with uh, Eric uh, against two uh, Letitia Trames. It's almost like a child who's been uh, caught and it just insists on, uh, on screaming and yelling until they just wear themselves out. Okay, so The Uncommon Tarot. This is uh, The Uncommon Tarot is by Shaheen uh, Miro, uh, who's an intuitive energy worker and artist with commentary by uh, Teresa Reed, who is the, known as the Tarot Lady from a lot of blogs, uh, websites, and podcasts. And Uncommon is even defined here. You can just barely see it, but it says uh, not ordinary, remarkably exceptional, sort of as you would see in a dictionary. Uh, so here we go. It's a nice box. Uh, it's got that nice little clasp, which you don't often see on a smaller, and it's like you wouldn't expect a perfume to come in this box. It's that kind of quality. Okay, and the material is really has a nice sheen. So it's a beautiful piece of packaging. You know, at least you felt like, um, you know, you're getting a little something for this. The um, inside does have that definition on this foil, silver uh, foil uh, thing, uh, uncommon, how to pronounce, ordinary, remarkable, uh, exceptional. And then the book is really a nice little booklet. It's uh, personalized by the artist. It's got some good information in here about him and the tarot lady, uh, Teresa Reed, and um, a little story about why he decided to make these tarot cards, and it goes really back to his youth. Uh, his mother, in front of her children, she would lay out a few tarot cards on the table and ask what they saw, and the cards became kind of a moving uh, picture book uh, for the family. And you'll see what I mean uh, with his design of these cards, okay? I'll just put this away right back in there. So, uh oh, I think I've got some cards backwards here. Looks like I do. Okay, so they are, uh, as you can see, silver foil gilded. Um, and then they've got a nice weight to them. They're not particularly heavy. They're just about right, actually. And just a typical dark, kind of mysterious back. The front of the cards, though, is beautiful. The images go from, you know, edge to edge. It's a nice, glossy, deep, uh, quality feeling card and with beautiful, rich colors. And uh, Shaheen's Un Uncommon Tarot is a contemporary re-imaging of the Rider Waite Tarot uh, with a collage work uh, melange, uh, rich with worldly people, uh, places, and settings. I mean, you can see. So they're beautiful, beautiful cards. They're not hard to use because in the bottom it just tells you what that card is and then you get to take a minute and then pick out the elements in here that are pertinent to what you're uh, reading about. So uh, beautiful cards. This is always a good way to spread the cards out and get your energy into them or get them warmed up for the day or maybe you're working with somebody your friends are sitting around you can let them mix them up if you don't want to have them shuffle. And uh, so that is the Uncommon Tarot. Okay, Trump, Eric Trump screaming on Fox News about Letitia James. But first, let's just take a minute, a second really to meditate. That's it. So, Eric Trump, Letitia James. He uh, says in there that uh, in that in that uh, written piece that, uh, that was about his interview on Fox News, um, they said that he started screaming. He really got unhinged. Um, 
and felt like they were tracking them down in New York. So that's very odd uh, for him to have that kind of feel. So does he really, honestly, uh, and they've got the best lawyers uh, to tear the thing apart. It, does he honestly really believe, um, he can't believe that he's, let's just do three cards really fast. Does he really believe he's innocent? That's, that's insane. Okay, one, two, three, no. I mean, no. Does uh, Eric really believe that he's innocent? Uh, we start out with um, the Seven of Swords, which is uh, representative of theft and betrayal. The uh, next card up is the Devil. <laughs> this is amazing. So yeah, ill intentions, theft and betrayal, ill intention. The question was, does he really believe that you know they're they're not guilty? And then the final card here is the six. Is this the Six of Cups? Yeah, this is the Six of Cups. So yeah, well, this is just you know wanting to remember when things uh, were better in the past. The cups are uh, emotion and compassion and, and and all that. So yeah, he's just thinking to the, when things weren't such a mess like they are now. If he hadn't only uh, run for office and won. Speaking of his dad. So that's interesting. Uh, so it looks like we're on the right track then. The card's hot. And it seems to be working. Uh, the next thing, uh, he said that he had uh, the best attorneys. And does he really believe that in his mind? Donald Trump, not Donald Trump. You know what? Let's uh, let's stop right there. Eric Trump. Eric Trump. Eric Trump. Eric Trump. Okay. So does Eric Trump really believe they have the best lawyers? Three cards. One. Two, three. All of this is about Eric Trump. Maybe a couple of questions about Letitia James at the end, but we'll see. Um, does he really believe they have the best attorneys? Uh, we start off with the six of coins, and I don't know if this is the four of coins, so this is just trying to hold on to your value. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Four of coins is just trying to hold on to your value and not uh, lose anything. So does he really think they have the best attorneys? Uh, the next card up uh, is the hermit. Oh my gosh. So this is, you know, this is the person that's all alone looking for their way in the dark, typically. So, you know, this person is uh, is in somewhat of a turmoil here looking for their way. And then the third card is a Wonderlust. Wonderlust. What the heck is Wonderlust? Oh, this is the Fool's Journey. So yeah, this is this is the Fool, in other words, because this is number zero. So this is the beginning of the journey and or just being a fool, period. I mean, this person does look very foolish. Um, I think that's maybe it. Yeah, just an innocent, um, ridiculous view on what this is. Wow. Um, well, does he believe that he's going to do jail time? Does Eric Trump feel like he's going to do jail time? Oh, my goodness. One, two... Three. This is Eric Trump's point of view. Does he feel like he's going to do jail time? Eric Trump. So this is the Ten of Wands. That is, the load is very, very heavy to move up the hill. And the load is a bunch of actions, a bunch of plans, a bunch of forward movement that he doesn't want. Um, then we have the Knight of Coins. Uh, this is really uh, feeling like... Uh, you're embattled. You know, you're trying to hang on to your value. value. You're do making every effort you can. And this is even the big, great big Republican elephant. So, yeah, this is Eric feeling like he's the knight. And then the last, uh, does he think they can beat it? Uh, this is the King of Cups. So emotionally, I think he's got to have that. He has That's what he has to have to get through this emotionally. He has to feel like he can beat it. He has to know that he's fighting uh, for something. That's what these people are made of. And uh, But yeah, it's really being embattled. Okay. Let's see if the cards could just generally... Um, let's do a combination. Uh, uh, we'll turn away from Eric. Let's just go to the universe. Okay. So let's just go to the ether. Get these cards fixed up and ready to tell a story not from his point of view, but just from the universe. Okay, what I want to know, is he going to be 
guilty and do jail time. That's the first part. And the second part, uh, I want to confirm that Letitia James's investigation is going to put Eric specifically in jail from, from her point of view. Okay, so to, just to get the whole story, six cards to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is going to be the universe tattletale on Eric. Is he going to be guilty and go to jail? The signifier of this card is the three of coins. Um, the three of coins is putting something together for public display, and coins are value and worth, and sometimes literally money. But uh, yeah, these three coins, I mean, look, you couldn't be in more of a public display. And it's interesting that this is a, uh, uh, almost as like a church, a holy building. So putting something together for public display, is is this case against Trump and, and the whole uh, gang going to be that? The challenge card to that is this four of coins. Yeah, the challenge to the, the government uh, putting this up for display to show that you can't uh, do what they've done for now a couple of generations. Maybe his father also, maybe the grandfather also. Um, so the four coins is the challenge to that is, these, is them just trying to hold on to their value for dear life. Okay. Uh, the basis of that uh, with this, uh, oh, seven, uh, the seven, this is the chariot. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. The 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 base of this whole thing is that now this thing is starting to get momentum. Okay. The past of this reading then is oh I can't make it out. Let's take a look here. Oh this is the king of coins. Okay. The past. Oh yeah. That was the king of coins. Of course they were on top of the world. Uh, they were dry, bringing in money from all over the place. Um, the Ten of Cups is a happy family. That's in the sky, and I think whatever these people considered to be happy family, that's what they're holding on to, okay? Just uh, trying to emotionally, um, you know, prop each other up. Man, that sounds very sad, actually. All right. And then the final part of this first part, uh, then will be this page of cups. Okay, there's just very little um, emotion for them. Okay, coming from the universe's point of view. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're, the universe is starting to, you know, the, the idea, the goal, the signifier is to put this up for public display. The challenge to it is that they're really holding on uh, and fighting, but everything is really in this chariot card, just uh, forging ahead. And um, in the past with this king of coins, you know, it's hard if that's who you were uh, to see uh, what's coming. Uh, and up in the sky here, all they've got left is to hang on to each other uh, for, to, for that emotional propping up uh, that we didn't do anything wrong and they're all trying to get us and uh, we're, we've got the best lawyers possible. And then uh, the likely outcome of the whole thing with this page of cups is that you know, the universe just has, it's not they don't, they don't have compassion, but the universe just has a measured amount of compassion for this kind of a situation. Uh, you, karma has to um, be accounted for. Um, you usually try to get it in the one life and not have to go into another one. So the next four cards, from the uh, prosecutor's point of view, uh, are they going to put him in jail? They feel, do they feel that confident? Let's see. At this point, anyway. The um, stuff for that question, death. Wow. End of a cycle. Prosecution is feeling very good. This is done. This is amazing. Um, the um, environment that that's in is the seven of coins. Wow, that's just looking at like at your at your at your your at your uh, fruit and saying, well, did I grow enough? Uh, did I harvest enough? Should I harvest a little bit more? Yeah, this is just uh, what any uh, sensible prosecutor would be feeling like. Have I done enough? Is there more I need to do? Uh, you know, staying on top of that. Wow, death, uh, and then the hopes and the fears uh, for that would be this uh, Ace of Swords, wow. <laughs> Truth, justice, rules, law. The hopes are, and the fears that, the hopes that we get justice and the fears that we don't. Wow, and it's the same thing for the for the Trump side, uh, for the Eric side, yeah, he's, he's worried that they'll get justice. Uh, man, these are great. And then the last card, uh, the final outcome, is right here, and uh, the Emperor. Okay, the emperor is it has the last say is the one who's going. This is the boss, and this represents uh, you know the government. So Letitia James's suit 
is going to do very, very well indeed. Well, for me, the sad thing is, is these these people were brought up to be these criminals. Of course, at some point, they are responsible for the next time they do a, the wrong thing. They know they've done the wrong thing, and they need to stop doing it. They have to take responsibility. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.